There is a change coming in Betaflight with regards to how it labels its releases. In the past, Betaflight has had version information based on numbers. So for instance, at the point of me releasing this video, the latest current version is 4.5.2. However, in December this year, Betaflight is going to migrate to a date-based versioning system, which will contain the year of release, the month of release, and then the patch version on the end. Whilst this release type may be a little bit confusing at first, it is actually much simpler in the long run. And what I'm going to do today is explain to you exactly how this is going to work, what it's going to change from and to, and how you can make sure that you understand what version is what moving forward. In Betaflight today, they use a versioning system which consists of the major release, the minor release, and then the patch version. For instance, as of recording this, the current latest version is 4.5.2 so the major release version is 4 the minor release version is 5 and the patch version is 2 this works quite well however one thing this doesn't tell you instantly is when that firmware was actually released and whilst beta flight does actually show you the dates in the configurator you do have to have that information added to understand the exact date it was released from December, they're going to move away from the major, minor and patch versioning over to a date-based system, which will consist of the year of release, the month of release, and then the patch version. On top of that, the Betaflight dev team have also announced that they intend to be doing two major releases a year, targeting the months of June and December for those major releases. This new versioning should make things a little bit easier for people to understand moving forward. And this new release schedule not only will be easier for the community to understand what to expect, but the dev team are able to plan things better moving forward. Alongside the aircraft firmware changes, the Betaflight Configurator app version is also going to migrate to this same versioning as well. And that now means that your app and your Betaflight aircraft firmware should now all align. The versioning should match the same between the two moving forward. Further to that, it's also worth me highlighting that Betaflight is migrating away from that more traditional downloadable and installable configurator, and instead they now have a dedicated browser-based PWA app, which is going to replace the original Betaflight configurator. This is available at app.betaflight.com, and this has all of the same functionality that you got in the offline app, but it's now available online, and it's always going to be the latest version. Don't worry though, if you do need an offline version, you can install this as an app on your PC as well. To do this, simply go to app.betaflight.com. In the browser bar on the right hand side, you can choose to install the app on your PC, and this will give you a fully offline version of that new Betaflight app that you can use out in the field. To be able to try and explain this versioning change in Betaflight as simple as I can, I've actually put together this image that you can see here. I will put a download link available for this in the description. But as you can see, from December this year, the next version of Betaflight will change to version 2025.12.0, 2025 being the year, 12 being the month, and the zero being the patch version. As time rolls on, that version may evolve into 2025.12.1, 2025.12.2, but the next major release for Betaflight is then planned in June next year because they're moving to that June and December release cycle. So in theory, the next major version would be 2026.060, which will release in June 2026. I have also down here at the bottom explained a little bit about what previous versions would look like in this new naming. However, it is worth me mentioning that Betaflight are not changing the naming of older versions of the firmware. This was simply an example. So for instance, version 4.5.2 today in the new versioning would have been labeled 2025. 0.03.0. However, they are not changing the older versions. What you will see is, as you see here in the drop down, Betaflight migrate into this new versioning system whilst retaining the old versioning system for previous releases. 
So to summarize, Beta Flight from December is going to migrate to a date-based visioning system. This will start with the new release, which will be 2025.12.0. They're going to migrate to bi-annual releases planned to be in June and December. And as I mentioned with regards to the configurator, you should now start to migrate to the web app version, which is available at app.betaflight.com. But don't worry, you don't have to just use it online. You can download that version as well. Finally, before I finish this video, I just want to say, if you want to support the Betaflight project, please do consider checking out their links to both their PayPal as well as Patreon. Betaflight is an open source project and it is a project that requires your support. As always with open source projects, you should always try and support them if you can. Within the Betaflight configurator, there is a donate area where you can click the button and it'll take you to PayPal where you can donate via a single donation or you can go to their Patreon and offer a regular support through Patreon as well. And it is only through the support of the community are projects like Betaflight able to continue. Hopefully you have found this video useful and I will put links to the donation for Beta Flight down below as well. If you have any questions, put them in the description and I will try and answer them. And finally, I just want to quickly say if you'd like to support this channel, I'm not going to push it as I usually do. Please do check out my links below, but please support Beta Flight first. And then if you want to support me, check them out as well. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.